Hi there, my name is Tolisha Francis and I want to welcome you once again to this particular channel. If this is your first time, do not forget to subscribe. Just press the button below to subscribe. Today I'll have a conversation as regards your thoughts. What, what role do your thoughts play in the scheme of things? What role do your thoughts play as regards how you live your life? Do they influence your actions? Do they influence the things that you do? side who looks for that loophole and just stands aloof and the moment they pass the ball to him the moment anyone crosses the ball to him he runs as though his life depends on it and so as you as you try to bring those thoughts together as you try to live a life of fear and worry as you try to allow fears and worries to to form the major part of your thoughts just because you want to protect yourself you're also living a loophole Right? And that loophole you're living is that you're going to begin to experience self-doubt and self-criticism. Right? The moment you begin to experience self-doubt and self-criticism, you put yourself in a position where there is nothing that would seem good about you. You won't agree that there is any good thing about you. And that is very dangerous. Right? So you need to realize that your thought can't necessarily change. But you can stop believing them, right? And like I said, thoughts are just thoughts, right? You can stop believing them. You can choose what you want to do with them. Don't believe everything you think. The fact that you think about something does not make it right. I 
it doesn't mean that you should act on it. So don't believe everything you think. Just see your thoughts as thoughts and see them as something, as those things that you can make use of and convert to something good. Someone who lives out of fear will live a life of panic, will live a life of anxiety because the moment you hear anything, what you have thought of in your mind comes to play and then you're afraid. Let me share a story with you. Many years ago, as a, as a teenager, in my younger teen, teen years, I was a very playful and, like some will use it, uh, wayward boy, quote, as, a word, as, 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 as it's implied. And so, whenever I did something wrong, my, my mother then would report me to my dad. So I, I, so I would always have it at the back of my mind that, well, what that would happen is that my dad would beat me, right? But at a point, it went beyond that because at some point, I was severely punished and I realized that, look, it's beyond beating. So if I had to do anything, the first thing that comes to my mind is, hey, I don't want to misbehave. I don't want to do this wrong so I don't get beaten, I don't get punished by my parents. But do you know that because I am living in fear, anxiety creeps in, and I am afraid, and I begin to doubt if I was even doing the right thing. In fact, there was a day that I was doing something and I was looking up severally at my father and he asked me, what's the problem? And I was like, nothing. But because I wasn't even sure of myself anymore, I wasn't sure if I was doing the right thing anymore. So I became very afraid. But I don't want to get to that point. I don't want to get to that point where you begin to do things and you're even afraid as you're doing them. I don't want to get to that point where you're not even sure of yourself anymore. And that's how I brought this message to you. And that I've come to share this with you on this episode. You don't need to live a life of fear. You don't need to live a life based on your thoughts alone. Those thoughts will come. You think about those things, but you don't have to live on them. You don't have to live a life based on the thoughts that come to you. Alright? Receive the thoughts. Right? Pick the good ones. Pick the ones that, that are helpful. Over time, you begin to understand your thinking pattern and you understand why you think the way you think. But as it stands at the moment, if you're not able to do that, understand that your thoughts are just thoughts. It is what you do with them that really matters. Don't let your thoughts guide you, right? Rather, guard your thoughts and guide them. Let your thoughts be slave to you, not you the slave to your thoughts. Take them. You know the way you, the way you choose what pair of shoe you'd wear because the shoe is a slave to you you wear wherever you want to wear it to take your thoughts like that so as those thoughts are coming around from different angles bring them and say okay you this thought look at you what exactly do i do with you and then you decide what you want to do with those thoughts don't go all hey, hey, hey. don't go all fearful and allow the thoughts to take charge of you i hope that you have learned a thing or two from this episode and i hope that you can take this along with you what you do with those thoughts when they come your way. Do not forget once again to subscribe and follow me on social media at Chef Francis. And of course, you can go to my website, TuluShefRancis.com. I have a new book, How to Love Yourself. It talks about how you can be your very best. Talking about love, talking about the things that you do for yourself to really show that you love yourself. Now, to get a copy, head on to the